Hi, and welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. Today is episode number seven in the Predator Control on the Homestead series. So today, we're talking weasels. All right, so what is a weasel? Well, do you know what a ferret is? A ferret is a weasel. He's part of the weasel family. Um, most of your wild weasels look like the ferret, unless it, you're talking about like the fisher. Um, he's a larger one of the weasel family. But for us down south, they're few and farther between. They're a smaller version of the ferret. Now, don't let that size fool you. These guys have an enormous appetite. So talking about their appetite, what do they eat? All right, so what does a weasel eat? Well, a weasel is strictly a carnivore. His, his diet consists strictly of meat. Now, the things that he eats are mice, rats, other small mammals, small birds, amphibians, stuff like that. So what's at risk on your homestead? Well, small to mid-sized rabbits, small to mid-sized birds, even a brand new lamb or kid. So now that we kind of figured out what they eat, how do we know if we got them? All right, so how do you know if it's a weasel that you're dealing with? Well, unless you're in snow, you're really gonna have a hard time finding tracks. Because weasels are just so lightweight that they barely leave any. But, just in case you got some good sandy soil or some snow, this is what they look like. Now, you can also look for scat, but it's also really small. And if you find it, this is what it looks like. The best way to be able to determine overall whether or not you have a weasel is by examining the crime scene. Um, when they come into your chicken coop, they'll attack your chicken, they'll eat the head and the neck and then go to the guts and just leave the rest behind. Um, also, they just like to kill just to kill. So it'd be nothing for a weasel to come into a coop with 20 plus chickens and kill the entire flock in one night. And you'll just have chickens that are dead and all bloody and nothing else. So, now that you've figured out that you probably got a weasel, what are you gonna do about it? Okay, so you know you got a weasel. So, it's time to pull out the steel. Now remember, most of the weasels that we deal with, unless you're way up north and dealing with the fisher, they're relatively small, so you want to use a small trap, a number one, okay? And you also want to build yourself what's called a weasel box. Now, we build a real simple weasel box. It's not even really a box. It's pretty much three sides, of back, and a lid. Um, there's no bottom, and the lid flips upright, okay? Now, we do put this lip right here, one, stop the weasel from being able to go up and over, but also to basically hold your lid right there. <clears throat> and then we have a step over, okay? And we put right there that he does have to step over if he gets past the trap. And basically that pretty much makes it where he has to step on the trap when you put the trap in there, okay? So, set your number one. like such. Now, if you're gonna build your box and you wanna set your trap like this, if you are better at bedding the trap like this, then make sure your box is wider, okay? It doesn't really matter to me, so with this one, we have to set it like this. And then you would dig your hole just like you would if you were making a dirt hole or a flat set or any other type of set like that. Bed your trap in the ground. Now make sure it's a good solid bedding 
So that way when he steps on, if he steps on the spring, it doesn't move, and then he'll go and step on the pan. Place your box over the trap like such. Put your, put your bait all the way here in the back. Put it down. Maybe put you some lure up here on the front. Walk away, come back in the morning to your weasel. And don't forget to secure your trap down so he doesn't walk off with your trap on his foot. And that'll, that's it, you'll catch him. Well, there you have it. Another exciting episode of Predator Control on the Homestead. I hope you guys found this video on weasels informative and helpful. Don't forget to check us out on the web at www.bigbearhomestead.com. Also, don't forget, come on over to Facebook, give us the like. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Now, just a reminder, yesterday was Mom's oils class and we gave away another free sample. We are going to start putting the code words on our other social media other than YouTube. That's why it's important for you guys to follow and like. So, speaking of Mom's Oils class, don't forget about our live shows on Mondays and Saturdays as part of the Homestead Network. Now, speaking of the Homestead Network, go to thehomesteadnetwork.com. That's thehomesteadnetwork.com. While you're there, you can click on the tab that says Showtimes. You can have a list of all the amazing YouTube creators that are part of the Homestead Network and what time their live streams are. And even something that's just more awesome than that is you can hover over their name, click on it, and it'll take you right to their channel. So you can either subscribe or you can be right there for their live stream at that particular time. And you know what? Do me a favor. While you're there on the homesteadnetwork.com, go up into that upper right hand corner, leave us your email, and the whole purpose behind this is just in case something changes. Whether it's a show time, or we're adding a new channel, or something. That way we can send you an email and it says, hey, Big Bear Homestead is not going to be able to make their live stream tonight. Big Bear got hit by a truck. Um, so Tommy from Off The Grid Nation is going to fill in for him, or Alderman Farms is going to fill in, something like that, for substitute teaching. So go over there in the Big Bear's time slot. So I hope you guys, again, found this video informative and helpful. If you do, please give us that old thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any comments, be nice, but leave them below. And if you're new to our channel, please slide on over to that red square and hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you for coming by the Big Bear Homestead, and like always, have a nice day.